This is a familiar scene at Newark Penn Station. This isn't. Music filled the terminal today as the station celebrated its 80th anniversary. Newark Penn Station was formally dedicated on March 23, 1935, designed by the very same architects who gave us New York's Penn Station. No, not the modern one that everybody seems to hate. The old Penn Station, the one that was considered to be America's most beautiful until they tore it down in 1963. But Newark's Penn Station survives, along with some of the early visitors. Well, I was here on the first Saturday that it was in operation, 1935. It was so vast, but there's no change at all for the station itself. The station has grown to serve tens of thousands of people every day. It's the busiest in New Jersey. 55,000 NJ Transit passengers pass through here every day. A lot of people, will, this is their first stop heading to a Devil's Game or a concert at the Prudential Center or before they're going over to NJ Pack for a concert. There's NJ Transit trains, PATH trains, Newark Light Rail trains, and Amtrak trains, and buses. Greyhound operates out of here, and NJ Transit's current bus fleet welcomed back some old timers today, courtesy of the friends of the New Jersey Transportation Heritage Center. The fact is, this old station lives in something of a time warp. It's got 80 years of history behind it. But people use it each and every day. It's very much a part of the present. And then again, for this city, it's also something that they dream about as an integral part of their future. Penn Station is the hub of the city. Newark Councilman Eddie Osborne goes way back with this station. My grandfather used to own a newsstand back in the 50s, right out here on Mulberry Street. And I remember as a kid coming here, I guess it was pretty new back then. And he also worked here. Construction where we remodeled the, all the stonework around here. I mean. And those improvements haven't gone unnoticed. I've been using it for 58 years, going to the city, going down the shore. I just couldn't live without it. It's pretty good here and the police are good. You know, they're always there all the time. So making sure everybody's safe. It gets me to where I'm going. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Transit officials acknowledge this place isn't perfect. Improvements are still underway. And then there are the social problems, demonstrating how Newark Penn Station is sometimes a last refuge for those down on their luck. But a local renaissance is clearly underway, from the Prue Center to NJ Pack to our new home for NJ TV, under construction just steps from the station. It's enough to impress this family, who is visiting from Kenya. I'm just a tourist, and it's very nice. We wish you the very best, another 80 years to go. How does this station compare to your stations back home? We don't have train stations there, so this is, of course, one of the best. So that's one more satisfied customer after 80 years of service. For NJTV News, I'm Mike Schneider.